welcome or welcome back to another video today i will be baking some jamaican style sorrel cake it's my first time baking a sorrel cake so let's see how i do so what i have in this pot i have some sorrel and just a piece of ginger just for a little flavor just a little piece not plenty and this is my way of doing it and as I said, it is my first time making a sorrel cake. So um, I'm going to whip my sugar and my butter. I'm going to cream it. And my daughter is going to be the egg in the meantime. So I'm going to start by whipping this at speed two. So you want the sugar and the butter to be as fluffy as you can make it. When you're preparing anything, any food, make sure your hands are properly washed. And your counter top should be clean as well. Because you know sometimes things may spill and you have to take it up back. And um, also added um your butter should be Room, at room temperature so you can take out your butter from overnight so um, the butter is easier to to manage when we are whipping the sugar and the butter together so I'm turning up my speed four I don't know, I love to bake and I never got any training or teaching. Butter and sugar is coming along perfectly. Yeah. And while you're whisking this, you can scoop down your, your sugar and your butter in the middle of your pan. can see my popcorn is becoming a lot more creamy. So I'm going to turn it up. So, I think this is it. 
Yes, it is creamy and the sugar and butter are where I want it. Just going to let this boil some more till it go down a bit before I take it off. Look at that color. So red and pretty. Look at that rich color red. So I will let this come to a complete boil. And then I let it sit to cool down. So I'm going to add in my hands. Just a little at a time. And this is six egg I'm using. So you're just adding in a little at a time. Part. Wow, look at this color. Guys, it's the first time I've seen a cereal so red. I do cereal drinks every, every, and every Christmas. And first time seeing a cereal so red. Cut that so this is it turn off the stove so I'm going to let this sit I'm just going to blend my cereal So at this time, I'm going to blend my fruits. Let's chop them up. So at this point, my daughter will be gratering the lime. So the lime will cut away any rawness from the egg and it also brings flavor. I have to take it from her. She said her hand is painting, so take it and do it myself. <laughs> I think this is it. So I'm going with my blend, oops, blend raisin. Don't mind the spill, guys. Sometimes this happens. So I'm going with the wet ingredients first. And then the dry after. Smelling lovely. So I'm going with my rose water. And 
put in my Halman flavor. Then my mixed spice. Then my rose and almond flavor. I'm going to use two cups full of this. Then I'm going with my rum. I'm going to use two to three corks full. Smelling lovely. So at this time, I'm going with my sorrel blend. I'm going with my flour and this flour contains baking powder, salt, cinnamon and nutmeg. Yes, so combining this together. Right, so I'm pouring some of the flour into my wet ingredients not everything one time and my flour is already sealed To give it a good stir because we don't want any lumps. So, guys, I have to put a bit of food coloring in it because the sorrel color, original color, break it down when you put in the flour. Yes, so I'll just put a little food coloring in it, and here we have a beautiful red color so Gabby is now mixing wow this is lovely lovely red color so this is it guys looking lovely and smelling lovely as usual so I'm going to taste it tastes good as well My oven is preheated and as you can see I have my water bath down there. So now I'm going to fill my container, my baking pan with the batter. And you don't want to fill up your baking things too much.
so guys uh, my cake already done I'm gonna test it so you all can see look at that first attempt at making a style of cake the knife come out clean No, I'm making a um, topping for it. Yeah, so this um, contains rum and the sorrel itself and some sugar. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to soak this. Instead of you using red label wine to soak it, you use this. The sorrel itself and the, the rum and some sugar. So there it is. So I'm going to use some of the, the sauce that I made. I'm going to sprinkle it on the cake. It is hot. making a sorrel cake and I want to tell you that it came out real good lovely color so I'm just going to cut it now and see Okay, I will be preparing some Jamaican style sorrel and these are my ingredients here so as you can see this is my sorrel again my sugar brown sugar rain if rum I have some pimentos and um, ginger crushed and my cinnamon cinnamon leaf and stick I'll be using in this one today so watch me as I make this juice Water. When the water starts to boil, I will put in my ginger, let it boil, and then I will be putting my sorrel, of course, make it boil, and then you let it steam for a while. So at this time, I'm going in with my ginger to let it boil. So I'm going to let this come to a boil, and then I put in my sorrel. So now at this time I'm going with my cinnamon stick. Cinnamon stick and leaves. Put all that ginger and cinnamon boiling together so I'm, not, I'm just going to let that boil for around three minutes or so then i come in with the sorrel This time I'm going with my sorrel. And remember, this is the outdoor cooking, our outdoor video. And 
this is a lot of sorrel. Remember, wash your sorrel properly because, my God, you don't want no insect to hide out in that sorrel. So, wash your sorrel properly. So, I will let this spoil. The soil is very rich in color. Just put it in and look at the water already. This is red. Guys, I'm just checking my soil. Look at this color. Look at this color red look at that guys look at this color of the story oh my god real jamaican authentic cereal color is rich so i'm just going to let this boil for around five minutes and then I'm going to put it aside to cool and sweeten and this is my final product guys of my sorrel my Jamaican style sorrel juice look at that color color is so rich vibrant and it's not just looking good, it also tastes good.